Hello, good evening everyone. My name is Samichi and I am here again this evening in Nigeria. We've been talking about how we can strategize in making something out of this great opportunity that we have around us. PBC, the Billion Coin Opportunity. So with me here is uh, one of fellow tradition. We've been looking at various ways whereby we can have done things done profitably and help our people here in the state to know the value of keen into this opportunity, what is going to have for them. So, I am welcoming you here, Mr. Mr. Lesson. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. I'm Emmanuel Onoa, here in the Boeing States. And I, I call Die Hard Tibetan. Actually, we want to look at what we can do to bring down to a point you say what is happening over the country in TBC. Actually, TBC, as we've seen it today, has come to stay. It's no longer a matter of, there is no doubt again, the conviction is there that TBC has come to stay. So but we are looking at a point state as our own state, and we are seeing that much is not happening here, because people tend to still think that this is not real. But uh, stepping into the toes of, uh, stepping into the shoes of this young man, Farona, we actually want to stand on this to input our own, our own efforts. Do something we can do to attract mass attention to the platform. And actually, I think we should be coming up with, uh, just as we've reasoned here, strategizing on one or two things we could do to make things start happening. TBC because TBC is real. Thank you so much, and I love to see that happen sooner than even most of us are thinking about. Because here in TBC, we have seen reasons why going things or doing things the way it's been stated out happens to be the very best way of it. Presently, my name is Amechi and he's Michael. We Emmanuel, are Emmanuel, 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 sorry, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. We are the Ebony State representatives of this Farona idea, Farona store. As you can see here, we are having the magazine. So this has really gone a long way to tell and to show the world that we are no longer comfortable with the cabal mode of doing things. And we want to help people to see the opportunity that lies in, in TBC. When you talk of transaction, and we talk of the way people carry money about and the easiness when it comes to transacting through blockchain, what can you really say that makes it easy and make you want to really want things done that way? Well, actually, anybody who has followed the blockchain activities would actually know that TBC is a game changer. TBC is actually a game changer. Not long ago, we noticed what was happening in Bitcoin blockchain. We noticed the, the high rate of charges in transactions. Uh, and we can now compare this to our dear TBC, and we see that this is actually a different ball game altogether. You, of course, we know that we only pay ten dollar for wallet fee in TBC, and this ten dollar is a last time. I think this is too good. Sometimes the only problem TBC has is that it is too good to be real. It is too good to be true. But then, it is not in all cases that anything that is too good to be true turns out not to be true. So TBC happens to be one of these rare cases where something looks too good to be true, but it's finally the truth. Actually, TBC, if, you, if someone is conversant with some of the developments in the world presently, you would understand that TBC is equally in the game plan. TBC is perfectly in the game plan and so for those that seem not to actually understand what tbc represents it is it is it is wiser on anybody's part even if you don't understand it the way it should because for instance myself when i joined into tbc 216 i didn't know much about so i didn't know much about cryptocurrency neither do i know anything about tbc it was actually the first post I got about TBC. I stepped in and bought it. 
Because I've always believed sometimes you don't need to know everything about something before you take a step. You don't need to see the entire stair, stair, staircase before you take the first step. So that was actually what happened to me. And I've been following TBC so far. Actually, it has gone in short. Even without making money, I think one of the most important thing I've, I, I think every anybody should appreciate about TBC is the education. The education is it's mass, it's an eye opener. It's an eye opener because most of the things that happen about the monetary system of the world, we've come to be abreast with it. We've come to know it. We are we are we've woken up. And so I actually appreciate the the wisdom of the admin in dishing out these nuggets of truth, helping us to learn more about the financial system of the world and this will actually help us to take our position so my 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 call is on everyone don't wait until you know the technology you understand the technology you may not know much about the technology don't wait until you, you see proofs because you as well could be the one showing others the proof don't wait until it is too late because it might be, it will be very, very appalling when possibly your, your younger ones or your children will be asking you, was it that you weren't around when other guys were doing something on this platform? And the excuse could be, I thought it was a scam, I thought it was a fraud. Actually, some persons that thought Bitcoin was a scam earlier today, they have themselves to blame. So, being that for, of course, it's good to be cautious. It's good to, to, to be cautious. But then, being that for, to the extreme, is very, very, is very, very, inimical. it's dangerous. It's not good for anybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Michael, Ma right? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. So, we've had it said over time, over and over again, that this great concept has come to stay and people should start keen into this very opportunity. As you can see here, this is where this where is, are uh, we? Fati Lame Baka is us. Okay. This is uh, somewhere in Ebony State, Obodo Park to be precise. And as you can see now, it's just looking as if we are the only ones talking about TBC, but every great thing begins with a step. Just like we are planning how to move things forward. By the time it starts happening, people will see that what we are talking about is not just a cooked up story. It's something real. We have seen that other countries of the world are getting into blockchain. So what happened to Nigeria and also what happened to Ebony states? So we want to help people to see and understand that what we are talking has come to stay. And that being the case, people should not be afraid of what they know is going to be valuable. Okay? Actually, I want to seize this opportunity to make a, a clarion call, especially to Ebonians. Please, if you are already in TBC and you are from Ebony or you stay in Ebony State, please do well to contact us. There could be a link later through which you could reach us. Let us come together and plan how to attract TBC massive attention to Ebony State so that Ebony a bonyans we are will not be left behind so please uh, i want to like the two of us here we are actually the merchants presently farona merchants in tbc platform so we, we would want to welcome others that are already into tbc and also people that are not into tbc that are willing to come in thank you thank you so much Mr. Mm -hmm. so we are not hiding anything we are trying as much as we can to help people appreciate what we are into. Because anything that you are doing, you have to do it wholeheartedly. You don't need to be ashamed of yourself because trying to make things to work out better, you don't have any reason to be ashamed of it. So people should come. People should try as much as they can to see the difference between our present mode of doing things, especially when it comes to transacting businesses, and how easy it's going to be when we buy this new technology, blockchain, which TBC is projecting before us. So as we are all trying our best to do something in a more better way, let's not give in to any 
deception. Let's not give in to any ideas that people are carrying here about saying that this is a scam or not scam. Yes, be it a scam or not, people should know that there is always between different between two things. We have come to see that among all other cryptocurrencies, none can equal TBC. And this has come to show that TBC has been giving us much more than enough reason whereby we continue to do things the way it's supposed to be done. Look at the back office, look at the new e-wallet, look at everything, look at the transaction. When you transact within seconds, not even minutes, your transaction goes through. So what else are we still waiting for? Are we still out for? Please, let's discard whatever reason we may have for doubting because TBC has come to stay. TBC is no longer how people used to think about it. It has gone beyond what we should consider to be a serious something. And again, I always come across some people who are still doubtful about TBC. Please, I want to know, what advice do you have for such people? Yeah, being doubtful, of course, I, what sometimes ago I was discussing with someone, he, he was telling me that the experiences in Ponzi schemes have made uh, people to question everything online. But I think uh, that is the, the worst loss whatsoever. Because some persons lost money. But the worst loss whatsoever is the loss of new opportunities on the ground of previous loss of money. Uh, that's the way I see it. So somebody should not close his eyes because something bad. Uh, for instance, you say you are in a busy place, you want to close your eyes because you saw an ugly, you saw an ugly thing. If you close your eyes because there was an ugly thing, beautiful things will pass across. Yes. So TBC actually, we don't want to judge TBC by our past experiences. Let us open our minds. Closed minds is always very costly. Closed mind is always very costly because it will cost you opportunities that will change your life. So TBC, of course, it has proved beyond doubt that TBC is not a scam. Yes, there is no scam whatsoever that could sustain itself for this number of years. Of course, I was like, I don't know how people reason sometimes. For instance, if it will only be a scam, for instance, if I could remember the last time, I can't remember the last time I admin made money out of selling TBC. I think that should be around 216. The last time I admin made money selling out TBC. So as it stands now, who are the people selling TBC? It is you and I. We are the people. So who is being scammed? Who is getting the money? As some might say, it is uh, ten dollar. That is too is to me it's laughable to think that somebody would be doing all this just because of the ten dollar. So please, my advice to people is that let us not say had I know. That I know always comes at the end. Let us not allow ourselves to to end being regretful. Let us approach, of course, it is very easy to get a TBC even now. In short, without even investing, you can pay for a wallet and have the free coin. But outside that, one needs to invest in TBC and secure your tomorrow because the financial, the, the fiat financial system is going down. And certainly, it is going down. If you follow other updates outside TBC blog, you understand what I'm talking about. The prison system is going down and one needs to position himself right. Thank you so much, Mr. Manuel. Sometimes we talk about investing, but in the real sense of it, we don't invest in TBC. It's like we are getting gifts. When somebody really understands what the brain behind TBC is all about, find out that investing may be an understatement because this is real money. This is an opportunity whereby you just come in. You even start having gifts that will sustain you for a long time if you choose to. Just that one alone. So, in TBC, we are seeing things happening and people should do everything necessary to do the right thing by coming into TBC. We are always giving people opportunity of doing that. Those people who are coming in new, there are ways whereby you can even still acquire TBC even before the, the promotion comes on the end. And we still have up to how many months now? before the cookies reward comes on end, we have from now till November. And when you come in, especially through our link, I'm going personally going to put you through. With the purchase of your $100 worth of Pringle from TBC, 
We are going to put you through how you'll be making use of other free gifts in TBC that will equal something come November. So, we are not hiding anything. We have always tried to be up and doing and helping others, even spending our resources. Presently, we have to build this very uh, community. We are building it. And we cannot be boasting that, yes, we are building a house and we are already sleeping inside. No. Now, it means work. And what is that work? That work entails this our shout out, helping people to see that what we are doing is the real. What we are doing is not fake. What we are doing is how to push things forward and make things work for the betterment of everyone who agrees to imbibe the vision of TBC admin. So, any last words before the yeah. video comes to an end? Yeah, actually, I, I like the correction. It's not about investing. We are calling people to plug in into TBC. You people, we want people to come in and uh, have themselves secured in TBC. Because if one chooses to ignore it, definitely it is like playing the ostrich, whereby it buries its head in the ground to avoid problem. Because TBC will definitely come up, take over. So we want to invite people to come up and uh, plug into TBC. We will be happy for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Mana. It's been a nice evening with you here together as we deliberate on how to push TBC forward in our state here in Ebony State. Not only in Ebony State, because I know that anyone that is in right here in Ebony State, I know is going to reflect in all the TBC community. So let us join hand together and do things that which we know is going to benefit everybody. TBC is all about showing love. It's all about giving people the free gift. It's all about standing on what we have come to see that is the right thing. I remain yours, Amechi AK, one of the many voices out there talking about TBC. Don't be ashamed to talk about what you know, especially what you know that is going to benefit you. Let us use our intelligence. Let us be wise. Let us try as much as we can to do things rightly. See, the next time we are going to meet again, I remain my humble self. And uh, Mr. Emmanuel, I have to honor her. Yeah. Have um, to sell you. Bye -bye. TBC. Thank you so much. Yes. Bye. Have a nice day.